what's going on guys welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are in fact having a great day today so today um copyright strike <laughs> this morning I woke up came to Roanoke Rapids of North Carolina to go to none other than Albert Freight right now just to pick up the uh, engine support bar for the Celica so now I am going to head to TJ's house so I can go ahead and pick up the engine stand for the transmission that I bought from the junkyard and um, hopefully I can go ahead and you know get started with the cleaning process so catch you guys at his house you good in there? let me see your flashlight oh oh it's dark is it dark hold on boop check out the 2JZ TJ's doing an engine swap so Hold on for a second. <laughs> what bike is this? A crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't damage the two J. Don't damage the two J. Fucking cast iron. I can't. It's impossible. Shh. Anything's possible. All right. Move that right there for me. All right. What am I moving? The, um, the thing is sitting right on top of it. Uh, move the light. Let's see what are you talking about? Yeah. The, oh, the toolbox. Yeah, oh, the toolbox. Two gotcha. You got the um little things that go. That's, that's what I was saying. They're right. They got two of them. It's right here. I think the other two is in there too. All right, bet. Sure does. We got the hoist. We got these two little things. The only thing I need is um, we gotta find the uh, other two, and then I need some screws for them. So you trying to set the transmission up there? Yeah. I'm trying to see how like I forgot how it goes. We go like this. Yeah, it goes like this. Yeah. So I'm gonna just need like screws that fits in here. Yeah, but I don't even know what screws. They did. They did send us. Um, they did give us some screws for um, the engine that we were supposed to. Um, which one? Which engine was it? it was, good question. <laughs> Matter of yeah. fact, it was the um, the the, um, the K series. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That's why. Right. Yeah, that's why. Right. Before you. Uh, before it, the K series got messed up, and it, it is what it is. Well, it looks like I'm going to run to Ace, and uh, I guess these two can hold, right? Yeah, they can. They should like. I could put one uh one right here and one right here or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it work. Don't worry about it. All right, let's go ahead and disassemble this and uh, put it inside the LS. All right, guys. So engine hoist is inside the LS. So now um it is getting hot, guys. It's really getting hot. It's supposed to be like in the 90s. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just like um continue later on in the day. And um yeah, I'll catch you guys later on in the day. It's hot. Yo, hi right, guys, so it is in fact the next day. Yesterday I had a lot of stuff um, going on. I had to do a couple errands, um, do a lot of stuff and all that fun jazz and I was running out of time. And um, here we are the next day and I got a head start early this morning. And here is the transmission, baby. Yes, sir, I got it um, on the hoist. Uh, this is everything I've done this morning. I didn't want to sit here and bore you guys on um, me putting the transmission on the hoist. I had my little brother come over to help me and uh, yeah. Here we are. ZV Axle, you guys see me uh, with the transmission and everything. I took that off, which is sitting right here. And bought the snap ring. I don't need it anyway. I'm going to get some new ones. But, um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do a, a good walk around on what should be changeable so far. Okay, right off the bat, um, these three holes that I was talk uh, that I was telling you guys about um, last week's video, I told you guys that um, I was concerned about that. So, I did a little research. I got the Celica hood propped up right here. And um, this is the motor mount, and under there is a bracket for the uh, holes that goes to the motor mount. 
so it's just sit it's like transmission mount then you got the bracket then you got that um those three holes that i showed you so that's a w transmission mount sits right up here for the celica and this is the transmission for the uh camera i gotta take this off it's just uh held in by one bolt uh, so I'm gonna do that later next off happen to be the cooling lines which is here and here I got the cooling lines right here. I took these off uh, yesterday. I believe yeah yesterday I took those off cuz I don't know if these are different than the ones in the Celica So I'm just gonna do some research and see and if they are I'm gonna just go ahead and swap these over and coming over here neutral safety switch I took this off this morning. It's sitting somewhere in the trunk in the LS somewhere I'm gonna swap the one in the Celica and put it over here and it should work. Another thing that I thought that was going to raise my concern was uh, this TV cable or throttle valve cable, if you will. And the reason why I wanna change this is because this uh, throttle cable is short. This is for cameras and stuff. And if you can look over here on the Celica, let me move all this out the way. Boom, that's the uh, throttle cable right here. That goes to the transmission behind the uh, neutral safety switch. And this one is longer than the one on the camera because this goes under and behind the transmission i mean not transmission but the engine and then boom come around here boom tv cable so yeah the one on the celica is longer than the one on the camry and yeah i didn't think that this right here was going to be swappable but if i take a look right here there's a bolt right there hidden under all this dirt and stuff so this should come up and uh, out of the way and it should be like a hook or whatever um we'll we'll see um we'll see so that's one one thing that's off my conscience now there's one more thing i have to change and it's this um this uh gasket right here um like i said whoever came over here and tried to take this transmission or the um take the axle out if you would uh, uh actually went through here and this kind of broke and i don't see any fluids coming out but um I'm kind of raising a little concern about that. It shouldn't hurt anything, but I do have to replace this because this part is ripped. As for the other side, this is the passenger. Um, of course, the passenger is good, but I probably just go ahead and change this one while I'm at it because, of course, it uh, has miles up there, 242,000. You see, it got a lot of dirt and buildup and stuff. It ain't that dirty. It's just mostly dirt and um, less uh, oil and grease. I can actually uh, remove all that stuff. All that fun jazz. So as of next week, guys, I will be uh, cleaning the transmission. You guys will be seeing a video on that. Uh, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be clean enough. You know, there's going to be, you know, oil stains, all that crazy stuff. And like I said, it's mostly dirty, but um, it's going to get clean. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut down for today and uh, clean up everything, put the transmission up, cover it. And uh, that's going to conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't done so. Turn on that post notification bell so that way you know every time when I post. With that being said, guys, I'm out. Love you guys. Stay safe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.